Hi guys, welcome back to another video by Lizzie Love It. And welcome if you're new here today. If you are a, a frequent viewer, someone that likes to come to my videos quite often, then hello and welcome back. I'm so glad you guys are watching this video. I know many of you that are probably clicking on this video are clicking for one reason only, and that is to find out about Camp America application and basically what happens before you get to Camp America and like the journey from like your house basically to the camp, what kind of happens and how you can apply and all that fun stuff. So if you are, you know, interested in those things and you want to know more, I have done two previous videos to this video and that is on my channel. So go check them out. That's about like the overall, one of them's overall with my friend talking about Camp America and basically quite a lot of different things, I guess. It jumbled up loads of different questions and loads of different things that we talked about. And then another video I did after that was basically a typical day at working as a camp counsellor basically for Camp America at a camp in America. <laughs> so yeah, I thought today I would kind of do a video on, like I said, what happens before and the application process kind of stuff really. So I don't really know how to start with this, but I hope you guys are gonna continue watching and enjoy this. If you do, then please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment and all that fun stuff and hit that ring a ding bell if you want to be notified for when I post. I do kind of various different types of videos. These are kind of something very passionate I feel like about doing just because I love to travel. I love to work away. I just love anything adventurous. Basically I love to do, I'm doing it. Yeah, if you enjoy these sort of videos, go check my other ones out. And you know, I post every week. So, you know, if you want to see more of me, then let me know. And if there's anything specific you want to see, then let me know also in the comments below. this video before this, basically the sun is glaring through the window and it's slowly coming by and it's going to be real bad video footage if I don't get this film right now. So I'm trying to rush through and get this film before that light comes um, because I need the natural light, but also it's kind of, yeah, all over the place. If you are excited to see this video and you want to know, basically some of you have asked the questions about camp and I said I'd bring to you a video on the questions that you have about camp on before basically you get to camp. <laughs> yeah, so let's get straight into this. So I'm sorry if it's a bit waffly. I did camp in 2015. So it's been a while, it's now 2020, nearly 2021. And obviously due to COVID-19 and everything, it's very hard for anyone to do anything at the moment. So I understand that you probably aren't looking too much into Camp America, but some of you are probably at the same time. There's a lot of time with the second lockdown, there's a lot of time to think, a lot of time to do, and during COVID, there's a lot of time to think about what you want to do with your life and what kind of adventures you want to take. I think this kind of time right now is made people think, okay, I need to like do fun things. I want to be more adventurous. Like COVID-19 has stopped so many things and a lot of bad things have happened from it. Business is closing, not able to do a lot of things. So, you know, in this time to think, you're thinking, right, what do I want to do? And if Camp America is one of the things you want to do, then continue watching and I will give you like a little, you know, insight of what I know about before. So let's just get straight into this. I'm gonna stop waffling and here we go. Obviously right now with COVID and everything, it is difficult. I don't know how Camp America and everything works. So if there's any questions to do with that, I really am, I apologize, I don't know. When it comes to like COVID-19 and Camp America stuff, <laughs> everything's all up in the air. I don't know what's going on half the time. So yeah, let's just hope that everything's kind of as normal, but I know there would have been changes. So application, let's start with application process. So you're probably wondering, I wanna do camp, but I don't know how to apply. I don't know where to start. First of all, I was lucky I had my sister. She kind of knew like she'd done it. So I kind of had that sort of guidance there. But what I can suggest, I know you can apply separately to camp. So if you see a camp that you really like, or you've heard of a camp that is your cup of tea, or you're researching and you come across a load of really cool camps and you're like, okay, I wanna apply for that one. Great, that's amazing. But um, I really don't know, I'm not forte in that kind of thing. I think you can directly apply for these camps if you go onto their site and application. I'm not too sure about that type of thing. From my knowledge, I went to a camp fair. So camp fair is a really easy way of doing it. Well, it's more of like a fun way of doing it, I guess. And you kind of see loads of different camps and you get to meet some of the people that work for the camps so camp fair i've got some little bits here that i've saved so this is what i got i've kept a few things by so it get, get hired on the spot basically for the camp fair they do these camp fairs basically this big it's a big meetup of loads of camps and it's a bit like a sales pitch i guess so you've got all these different camps and they've got all these different stalls little setups 
and basically you go along you've got a big badge or a big sticker and you like basically go along and you kind of introduce yourself you say what you're looking for for like job wise if you're looking for a general counselor that's fine you don't need any specific skills as long as you've kind of got people skills common sense common knowledge and you have had slight experience i do recommend getting some sort of experience with kids because if you're going oh i do be thrown into the deep end basically but if you are great and you've got personality to bring to the table they'll love that as long as you've got a good personality and you have got common sense and you're real out there you're you know you're outgoing you are passionate you know all that fun stuff you like to write on your cv you know I am dedicated, I'm passionate, all that stuff they love to hear, obviously. So yeah, Camp Fair is like, they have setups of different camps and they're kind of pitching it to you, like why they want you. If they want you, they will be like, we want you and we know you'd fit for this role because of so and so. They want you. They will have you and they will pitch to you why they want you and why you'd be good for their camp. You don't have to say yes, but if you do say yes, you are taking that job role and basically you're hired. You not to go to another table and say hey i'm looking for a job because you've already got one now you've been hired you'll probably sign something you'll probably get the information and you'll be emailed and all that jazz you know so don't say yes to every single role you only can say yes to one camp but make sure you kind of like if you do get offered a job role i suggest you could it's kind of 50 50. i suggest taking it because you might not be offered another job however you might be offered 10 other jobs so kind of do it sensibly but yeah i think i went to two tables and by like the second or third i think the second table i was like okay i'm taking this so one yeah just be wise and make wise decisions when it comes to the tables and if you're wondering how i found out about the fairs i think i went on to online i just put in camp america like you can find everything online just put in camp america and you'll find it and it will come up with loads of locations like when it talks about camp fairs there's loads of locations around the country so obviously i don't know who is applying you can apply from different countries i'm in england so the places that you can apply in england was like manchester london birmingham um, like all the big cities basically they just had them all you know everywhere so i went to the london one because london's the most closest to me still not close close but it's, I'm from Bournemouth, so yeah, it's not really close, but it's closer than if I was to go to Manchester or Birmingham, you know? So yeah, and it'll have a specific date. So there's certain dates, it'll be like a long weekend and there'll be like certain dates in those locations. And basically you just go to the spot where it tells you to go and you will see it like, when you like, but what if I can't find the place? <laughs> you will find it because there'll be a huge, gigantic queue of people outside the building. Like there'll be loads of people out there and you'll be like, okay, that, that's the one, you know, that's the one. They'll let you in and basically you'll go through, you'll get like things like this, information, um, like bits and pieces, you know, like you do like pieces of paper that say so-and-so or whatever. So you'll get information when you get there. And basically they'll kind of instruct you a little bit about what you'll do and what, what will happen, we'll go through. But at the same time, it's kind of like, you just go and hope for the best. Once you get hired, basically, let's go to the next bit. Once you get hired, they'll offer you the job, they'll give you the information, they'll they'll introduce themselves and they'll, it's very, very fast. It's like literally bam, bam, bam. It's like, you're in there, you're out there. Like, I think I was barely in that place. Like, like the whole day I was, I got off on the, I went off on the train and yeah, you were in there for like no time at all. So I was in there for like, I don't know, like 30 minutes. And then the queuing went really fast. So the doors opened. I think I was only queuing for like an hour. And then you were in and then you were out. I think it was like half an hour, 45 minutes I was in. And then I basically went and got a Mackey's and got the train home. <laughs> Cause it was just mentally exhausting. Cause you're like, wow, that was quick. Yeah, you'll get emails, you'll get bombarded with all sorts of information about what's next. Basically you get hired, what, the camp fairs is January. You get all the information, you do like the, filling out all the forms, the, all of that stuff. And then basically camp started in June or July. I can't remember, whenever the summer starts, and it was eight weeks, my camp, every camp is different with how long they are. So some camps were like 12 weeks, some were 10, some were eight, like it just depends on where you go. I went to an all girls camp and it was eight weeks. I was there and then after that I did, I think I did two or three weeks like traveling after. I think you get, 30 days after, so I think I did like two weeks. You get 30 days extra to travel after, like for your visa, your work visa basically. So after you have gone through 
So I'm just trying to remember, I've got my piece of paper somewhere. Once you've been emailed all the information, basically what happens is they want to get you sorted. They want basically all your references, like, like if you put any references about experience or all that, they'll want those. They'll want you to have a DBS check and most importantly, they'll want you to have a visa. So you need a work visa for America. They're very like different to here. Um, they are very strict and they will expect you to have a work visa. So a work visa, you'll get that again in the big cities. I went to London, for example. I don't know if they do them everywhere. I think London might be one of the only ones. I cannot remember. But basically I went to London another day. I think it was several months later and I sorted out myself a visa. They asked you a few questions like they normally would do. And basically it's quite straightforward. Once you're there, you kind of in and out again for a visa. Take a pic take a picture with you, like a passport picture, or you can get a picture done there for five pound, I think it was. And then after that, go home, make sure you've got your DBS. You do have to pay for your DBS. I think it's like 30 pound or something for a DBS, isn't it? Or you can get those renewal DBSs. Uh, DBS is a background check, so you will need a background check for that and a visa and all that information. It's like a CV and a reference sort of stuff, all that again. After that, basically they send you emails and they'll in, they'll basically find you on Facebook or you can find them on Facebook and they'll say right join our Facebook group our camp Facebook group most camps have a Facebook group and you will meet people you will talk to people I don't think I spoke to many people I think I spoke to like two girls that I was like gonna be at camp whatever camp you're going to they will be a way of communicating to other girls or boys whoever are going to that camp that same camp year so loads of you are going to be new to it and you are, will find some people that are going to be going with you so i found a group on facebook with mine and we all did we introduced each other ourselves to each other and we basically were like oh yeah like are you excited and you can talk about all the things that you're taking and what they suggest if anyone's previously been to camp they'll give you their tips and tricks of what they suggest taking and what not to take sort of type thing so there is a group chat that you will be included in and you can talk to the new people that are joining with you or people that maybe been there previous years and they will have an insight on what they know and what they want to talk about with you guys so you can always and if you get on with somebody you can always like i don't know take their numbers and you can or i don't know message them individually on facebook or wherever it is and you can discuss make sure they're legit though like don't be talking to some strangers uh, but yeah so you can talk to these people and you won't be alone in the situation and the whole daunting it's quite scary the thought of like I guess doing it all on your own and stuff like that. Because most of the time people do it on their own. I did, so you know, it does it is a bit daunting, but you will have other people in the same boat as you, okay? So don't I worry. I think my voice sounds really like ugh. I've just got a bit of a blocked up nose and a bit of a cold. Um, but basically, yeah, where am I at next? Let's talk about the next bit. So you will be sent a package, I think Camp America package, like a general welcome to camp. Um, I think I paid a bit of money for it. I think it was like 12 quid or something. But I basically got a camp t-shirt saying, welcome to camp, blah, blah, blah. And you get like some like leaflets and information. So I got one of these for the camp I went to, like a little book brochure, little booklet about it. That was, I got sent, I actually made the cut. And yeah, I've kept it ever since. I just thought, you know what? Out of all the pe thousands and thousands of people that probably got their pictures taken at Camp America Fair, made it on the bloody thing, didn't I? so yeah you'll get sent like a t-shirt saying welcome you'll get like a brochure you'll get some like a welcome pack and basically all that fun stuff for your camp and they will also email you all the information if there's any problem don't you can you can email them with that anything and they, they can't turn you away with an email oh, this sun's coming it's coming it's coming but basically they will send you all the information what to bring what not to bring they'll send you a list of what they suggest to bring and what like essentials to bring and kind of how to pack and all that you know they will send you all that through email okay, now let's yeah. talk about the next bit that i'm sure you many of you uh <laughs> i'm sure many of you want to know about okay on the day it is it's time to leave for the airport it's time to go to camp america it's time to you know enjoy your adventure you've been waiting so long to do this and you are you know it's the day it's the day you're leaving for camp so Oh God, it's all coming, it's coming, it's coming. I had my mum and my dad take me to the airport. I think it was Heathrow Airport that we went to. So I'm doing a lot of this. Um, <laughs> so it's Heathrow Airport we went to. And it was very scary because I was like, oh no, like what if I don't recognise, what if I don't know where the group is? Where are my group of people that I'm going to be meeting? Like where are the other girls that are going to camp? And is a camp counsellor as well. Like what do I do? Like, ah! Um, yeah, so 
I got there, you wear your Camp America t-shirt, so they're white t-shirts with Camp America, I don't know if they've changed them at all, but you wear a Camp America t-shirt so they can spot you, and you will see, honestly, on the day, ev most people, everyone in Heathrow Airport, I swear, was going to camp. Like, you could see everyone around you, there was so many, like, teenagers, like, there was just so many girls and boys <laughs> going for camp. They were all going to different camps, and then, basically, me and the girls that had spoken online, we said we would meet in Heathrow Airport at this little cafe. We were wearing our t-shirts, Camp America t-shirts, and we said, we'll meet there and we can introduce ourselves and we can all do it together, you know? So my mom and dad dropped me, I found the girls, they were in a, I think it was like Starbucks or something. They were waiting in a cafe in Starbucks or something like that. And it was very exciting. Straight away, we knew who we were. And also another thing, if you didn't know, you've got to have a camp name. So like, when I went to camp, my name was Dreamer don't know why. Um, I had another friend that I met, her name was Lilo, like Lilo and Stitch. So you do have, you come up with a cap name that you want, it's quite original, I don't know. Mine, her, we don't have original, but you know, go with whatever you kind of fancy with a nickname. Something that's quite, will stick and you'll like to be called for the rest of the summer because you're gonna be called that nickname, not your real name. So yeah, we went from our little group. <laughs> we went, we met as a group and we went from there to our gate and we were prepared to get on our plane and all that. And obviously you're sat wherever you're placed on your plane. So you won't be sat probably with the group of girls or boys, whoever you're with. But if you're lucky, you might be, if you're not, you know, you just sit, you go on the plane. I think I sat with two other people from different camps and they were lovely and we were chatting about what we were excited about. It was very exciting. Like you can chat, whoever you're next to, you probably, it's, it's bound to be another camper for another camp or somebody that you're going to camp with. So once you have flown to America for your camp, they will have a sign saying the camp they are like waiting for, like the counsellors. So mine was Camp Reynolds, they were holding a Camp Reynolds sign and I was, obviously I could see what they were and who they were. So when I arrived and came out of departures area, there was a big sign saying Camp Reynolds. Go to there and that will be your camp. Then they will pick you up, there'll be other people waiting, um, you'll be waiting for if they're not arrived yet, they might be on a different plane. But basically, you are there, you arrive, and you're with your campers. Once it's your, it says your camp name, and they're all wearing Camp America t-shirts, and they Camp Runnels, or whatever the camp place is, they'll be wearing t-shirts saying that camp. And yeah, that's that. Once you get there, you are gonna then get in one of their cars, or whatever it is, a bus, a coach, whatever they come with, and you will travel to your camp. And that is very exciting. You get, you arrive at the camp, you get your bags, you throw your bags in like the counsellor's cabin or wherever it is, and you'll meet all the other counsellors and the employees and workers or whoever, the camp leaders. That is basically from, you know, application to the camp. And that is it, basically. That is basically the end of this video because this light is getting really annoying. <laughs> and yeah. Can you see what I mean? Imagine how annoying that would have been. I would have been like this. Mm. Yeah, that's everything I think that you guys had questions about. I hope I haven't missed anything out. I really do apologize if I have, like I really am sorry. I don't know if I'll be making another camp video because that's now three videos. I just don't know what else I could talk about. But if obviously you've got any other questions, ask me the questions either on Instagram or comment. Ugh. Comment below and I will answer your questions. What is going on with this hair? But yeah, basically I'll answer your questions. Follow me on Instagram or message me on Instagram. It's probably easier. I'd probably more likely be able to re respond on there. But I'm happy if you comment below on this video or any other videos that I have and I will respond to those too. I don't know how quickly I'll be, but I will be as quick as I possibly can. But basically I'm starting my nursing placement again. So it'll be a bit more like longer reply like I won't take as quick to reply but I will do my best for you guys I really do appreciate you guys watching and taking the time to spend watching my videos like it really does mean a lot to me and I really do appreciate it I love you all so much I hope this helped you and I really apologize if I missed anything out just comment message me whatever it is I don't know what other videos I'm going to bring out to you at the moment I'm thinking of new ideas if you have anything you want to see let me know I'm happy to take into account all of those like comments and questions and what you want to see and I will see what I can do. But I hope this helped you guys. And I hope if you are doing Camp America, just enjoy it. I hope COVID-19 doesn't get in the way of everything because it would just be a real shame because camp is an amazing thing. Oh, let's do that. 
I'm just avoiding that sun. Uh, yeah, Canva is an amazing thing. And all the other things that I've suggested to you guys, ski season and all that, they are incredible adventures. And if you love traveling and adventures, then truly do them because it's so important. You only live once, you might as well do these things. And I really hope COVID-19 hasn't stopped any of you guys from living the dream and doing your adventurous things and doing camp. I hope you guys manage to get there and do it for the next year or whatever. I don't know when, I don't know what's happening with everything, but hopefully by next summer, you guys will be doing it and camp fairs will be coming up soon, won't they? Just look out for them and start, you know, applying for camps or start getting ready for camp fairs. Get ready with your application. Get, have everything ready so you can get straight into it. You know what I'm saying? And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a massive thumbs up. Subscribe, like, comment, everything. I already said like and comment. All, I don't know. But yeah, it's been a busy day. So I hope I haven't rambled too much. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And I hope you find this useful. And yeah, just let me know if you have any questions. I hope all you guys have a great time at camp if you're thinking about going to camp. And yeah, just made the most of it. And I will see you in another video. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.